Okay, so here's the assembled quadcopter with the Arduino attached to the Raspberry Pi by USB. I kind of just sandwiched them here and try to keep the cables out of the way. Uh, I'm going to videotape this working um, without real flight first just to make sure that's captured because uh, as you can see the Arduino on top here it's pretty delicate so if this crashes that's that thing is going to be toast. Um, yeah, so let me just plug this guy in and then we'll test that on the host PC through Wi-Fi. Okay. All right. Now I just gotta wait for the Raspberry Pi to boot up. That's usually when the, um, when the little lights down here, are, it's hard to see. But, uh. And the little yellow light stops by the red light. Well, I will prep a uh, putty. Okay, so here's the script. I got a little bit confused for a second. It turns out uh, running the Python script on startup was dumping the output to uh, the root folder, um, probably because it's not running as the Pi user. Um, so anyway, now I put the drone on its side uh, after it started. So if we just take a look at this log file here, And we can see it, it's logging um, the orientation, the yaw pitch and roll uh, every 100 milliseconds. And there, there it changed a little bit when I was rotating it around. I'm just scrolling through to see where it changes. There we have some changes now. So this is when I'm rotating it in the air in uh, all different directions. And I went back to on its normal. And then I put it on its side here, I think. Yep, there, now it's on its side and it's catching up to its current orientation. So the rest of the file will just read uh, that way. So yep, yeah, that's it working. Um, after we fly it, going to get a new log file and then come back and dump that into a, a report. All right, here's the test flight after we proved it was working and hopefully we don't flip over because it's windy out and I don't want to break that Arduino. All right. I'd have to adjust the trim a little. All right, so after the flight, we're back, um, logged in, or I got the Pi running. Um, it's not gonna output to the log file because I unplugged the Arduino, so it won't log to the file while it's unplugged. It waits until 
the USB is plugged in and start doing that. So I, that means I can copy over a text file and we're connected over Wi-Fi. So I'm going to SCP it over. Um, so let's see, pi address is 192.168.0246. Um, okay, so I believe this is the syntax. All right, I think I, I think I brought it over. There it is. All right, so let's take a look at that. All right, so this is going to be a long file. So here it is in WordPad, uh, just so I can get a scroll bar and it looks a little more user friendly. So I'm going to just scroll down to where we started flying. And yeah, right here it looks like we're up. It's definitely moving around, rotating, getting some different settings, rotating. I was having some problems with the trim, so it was on the ground for a long time. But it was in the air for quite a while, towards the end there. There we go, rotating. I think it fell on its side at one point while it was on the ground. Uh, this looks like it. X uh, axes, you turned around 360. Yep, I'm getting some different settings here. Yeah, so this appears to be working. I got all the data out, uh, transmitted over Wi-Fi. And uh, the Arduino is also set up uh, as an AP hotspot, which I'll get an image of that uh, set up in the report. So thanks.